The surface tension of the lubricant makes a meniscus. By varying the angle we approach the meniscus with the oiler, we can determine how large an area the lubricant will cover on our oiler. If we approach at a steep angle, the lubricant will be limited towards the tips. If we approach at a low angle, the lubricant will cover a larger area. As you've seen from both of these examples, by controlling the position of the oiler, we can prevent lubricant from ever coming onto the other side. In addition to the angle, the speed at which we break contact with the lubricant has an effect on the amount retained. If we break contact slowly, less lubricant will remain on the oiler. If we break contact quickly, more lubricant will remain on the oiler. In this manner, we can control not only where the lubricant is on the oiler, but also the quantity. Before we can hope to apply the lubricant correctly, we must be able to control the lubricant on our oiler. For this hard to reach pivot, we've collected the desired quantity of lubricant in a low bubble. This way we can approach the pivot at a high angle with the oil away from the flat of the jewel and not hit the top of the pivot. For this impulse plane, we've collected a tiny bit of grease right at the tip. By keeping the bubble high, it will be easier to place directly on the impulse plane. Lubricating a cap jewel can be done in much the same way only a larger quantity of oil is used to achieve the correct quantity once the cap jewel is combined with the whole jewel. A post is lubricated by collecting an appropriate quantity of lubricant for the post diameter and length on one side of the oiler at the tip. By keeping the lubricant at the tip it will allow for the lubricant to be spread around the diameter of the post to avoid pooling under the part. A yoke is done with a low bubble at the tip. It is applied to the center of the part face in an area that can be slid into place to avoid the lubricant spreading or splashing over the top or bottom of the parts. By preparing your oiler, keeping fresh lubricants, and by properly picking up the lubricant on the oiler, your watch service quality will improve.